take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Just because some players are cheap and only tip caddies pocket change, it doesn't mean all caddies are living on nickels and dimes. In 2015, the US Open winner, Jordan Spieth, made a cool $1.8 million in prize money. His caddy Michael Greller pocketed $180,000 for his performance at the tournament. Take our lead. Every caddy gets a weekly paycheck, no matter where his player finishes, Collins said in a cheekily animated video for his show. If the player misses the cut, the caddy still has to get a paycheck because the caddy pays for all of his own expenses, airfare, hotel, car, food, all of it. Take our lead. Steve Williams Net Worth Steve Williams is a New Zealand-born professional golf caddy who has a net worth of $20 million. Steve Williams earned his net worth as the caddy for many professional golfers, most notably Tiger Woods. Let's help you make your mark. As Collins explained, caddies also get a weekly salary negotiated with their player. Caddies can range from $1,500 to $3,000 a week. However, some caddies opt for a higher weekly paycheck in exchange for a lower percentage of winnings. No caddy and player has the same deal, Collins said. Let's help you make your mark. Most weeks, when PGA Tour players miss the cut, they don't get paid. At the Masters, the players who miss the 36-hole cut are paid. In 2017, every professional who missed the cut was paid $10,000. At the US Open, the professionals who miss the 36-hole cut are also paid. Let's help you make your mark. Justin Thomas's caddy just made over $270,000 to become the highest paid caddy in 2021. Justin Thomas is on top of the PGA world right now after winning the Players' Championship. The 27-year-old has had quite a successful career in professional golf so far, and he's made sure to spread the love. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.